Right now I'm on Depot Street, and I heard a rumor that all these buildings are going to be getting torn down. I'm not sure if I believe it, but I wouldn't doubt it. They're re either getting completely renovated or just demoed. I'm not sure what's going on, but someone said this one here is going to be demolished, and it's kind of looking that way. I can see inside, and they're completely gutting it out. And if that's the case, that's just sad. That's just wrong. That's like some serious Manchester history right there. The same with this building. I understand it would cost, cost a small fortune to renovate them, but they're old, beautiful buildings. There's no need to tear these down. I guarantee you, structurally, they're very sound. Unfortunately, I do have a video clip. I did walk around here previously. I just I never made a video of it because I don't think it came out that good. So I deleted most of the videos, but I still have like one two-minute clip remaining that I happened to find this morning. And I'm kind of upset because I actually walked around this whole building before they started demoing it, and I actually videoed it. Of course, I was unaware that this was happening. So I, I will post that clip as soon as I'm on walking around here I'm not sure exactly what this building was originally but I assure you it was obviously commercial related it was definitely factories and, and stores for sure it definitely wasn't apartments I've actually been in here I knew somebody that had a business here and they had a I don't know if they had a shop or if they were storing stuff here, but I mean, that was a while ago. I don't remember exactly why, but I have been in this building. This building as well is also, I think it's vacant. So I don't know what the city's planning to do with these, but I get a feeling they're going down. As you can see, there's old train tracks here that used to run through here, obviously. But it's still very original inside. I'll try to get some pictures of it. I don't think my phone will pick it up, but you can still see the wood plank ceiling. Yeah, I think this building's vacant also. I'm not positive. That's also a brick building that some fool painted quite some time ago. Yeah, I get a feeling this is going bye-bye. And this is why I film these videos, because it things change in a blink of an eye. Like, if I wouldn't be filming this, there's probably nobody else doing it. Although there might be. But obviously I've driven past this, you know, at least a couple hundred times in my life, if not more than that. It did have a nice old cold chimney stack up there. Such a shame. The problem with this building is there's no parking, so you know it, it would either employ a lot of people or there would be a lot of people living in here. And nowhere to park is the problem. It's kind of cool that this old um I don't know what this is, but it looks like some type of hopper system with a vacuum that would suck things either in and out of here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what was built here or what this building was for. I'm sure it was multiple, multiple businesses. Ironically, I was walking right by there yesterday. That's part of the train yard. Not yesterday, but last week. It feels like yesterday. When they demo buildings, it goes quick, so I was contemplating on coming here tonight because it's Sunday at like 6.30. But I'm like, I better get off my ass because who knows when they're going to start demoing this. But over here, you can faintly see some writing on this wall from previous businesses. I can't make them out. But obviously the last thing that was here was the cabinets, the cabinet company, which I do recall being here, which really wasn't that long ago. 
All right, I gotta be careful to not get hit here. Come on, Tuck. I'm actually gonna cross the street. This is not a sidewalk here. And it's probably a better view over here. If you're unaware of where we are, this is Market Basket, and that's Elm Street up there. Yeah, it's looking like they're demoing it at minimum. Go ahead. Oh, I hate this store. It's always so busy. Right? This is the worst place to go grocery shopping in the city. By far. I love Market Basket, but I hate shopping here. It's, it's always just a shit show. There's a lot of people here at all times. But anyway. Oh, by the way, this used to be a Bradley's. It was a, a Bradley's, uh, like a retail store. That was many years ago. This was also part of the train yard. Come on, Tuck. Speed it up, buddy. There's people waiting to get past us. Yeah, to me, it looks like they're demoing it because it doesn't seem like they're taking much care into what they're doing. Again, it's a shame, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing that anybody can do about it unless they have a lot of money. It's probably going to be turned into a parking lot, condos, or a gas station. Or a little shopping center. I can, I can see that. So instead of having these beautiful buildings, there's going to be another strip mall here. For some reason, I just see that happening. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys all this later. Another angle of this factory that was once here. There's some faint writing on the brick. What I can see is that there was a machine shop here. There was an engine rebuilding shop. My phone can definitely not pick it up. It might, but I can read it. I'm amazed that this, uh, these chutes are actually still up here. These haven't been used in at least 40 years that I know of. It's amazing that these haven't been knocked down yet.